Today I'm going to go ahead and talk about the Shade and Light palette from Kat Von D. I have the shades here, starting from this color this way. We have Levitation, Lyric, Lucid, and then down here for the contour shades we have Subconscious, Shadow Play, and Somber. Um, I did show a demo using these today. On my left side, I have, what was this, Levitation and Subconscious. Um, I feel like, you can see those here, I feel like they're a more of a warm tone. The highlight shade really did brighten up underneath my eyes a lot more than the yellow toned one that I have on my right side. Um, the contour shade, I feel like if it is very warm, it seems almost like it has a red undertone. And the one in the middle here, it seems very cool tone, which I like better. It gives more of a natural appearance. Um, if you're going to contour, you're going to want something more of a cool undertone. So it looks actually like a shadow and not like if you went in with bronzer and put that on your face. The last two shades here are a little bit dark for me. This color here is really like my skin tone, so it doesn't bright anything, but it's good to use as a setting powder. And this bronzer here... It is extremely dark. I know a lot of people were complaining about the Anastasia contour palette. There wasn't anything that was really dark enough to contour with for darker skin tones. Kat Von D's got you covered. It's extremely dark where you're going to be able to contour with it. And I'll go ahead and include the demo. palette I would extremely extremely advise that you go pick it up before it runs out I did pay $46 for this at Sephora and once I run out of it I would actually would like to repurchase this